Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. Just a very short video here uh, about the uh, jet pumps on the NEOs and uh, more specifically on the 321 uh, which I had the uh, uh, opportunity to uh, operate recently down to one of the Greek islands. Um, big fan of the A321 and certainly of the three types that we fly at our company it's definitely uh, my favourite. But I had a number of questions uh, about the transfer logic on the centre tank pumps and the fuel uh, arrangement uh, tanks uh, on the 321 from a video which I did some while ago on the uh, fuel system where I tried to cover the 319, 20 and uh, 21. It's just a reminder here that the 321 only has wing tanks and then of course a vent and surge tank but what we see on the ECAM I'll, I'll see on the SD page I'll try and bring it up for you here is just the uh, center tank uh, and the wing tanks there are no inner and outer. The difference with the NEO of course is that it has these jet pumps rather than uh, pumps in the center tank and just as a reminder the jet pumps work as a kind of Venturi uh, system. It uses the uh, wing tank uh, fuel pump pressure flows through Venturi. That then sucks up the fuel from the center tank and then transfers it into the uh, wing tank. So a very different system rather than a pump independently pumping from the center tank into the engines that doesn't happen it uses this fuel transfer system essentially and that's how it's indicated on the ecam where it actually takes the center tank fuel and puts it into the wing tanks rather than going uh, into the engines it also has a different logic um, with regards to the slats because the jet pumps don't have pumps themselves going directly into the engines and they jet pump into the wings, um, there isn't the slat logic uh, that we that we have on the uh, CEO, uh, for example. So that's another thing. Um, and the last difference uh, is the amount of fuel that needs to be burnt from the wing tanks. Um, and there's a difference between uh, the types there as well. And on the 321, the difference to the 319 and 320 with a 321 you only have um, to burn 250 kilos from the wing tanks before the jet pumps will then start uh, powering uh, to supply the fuel uh, into the uh, wing tanks. I've got a picture up here just to show you the uh, wing and the jet pumps in action or inactive as it was uh, burning through the uh, wing tanks. Uh, uh, so hopefully that will put some uh, meat on the bone there for you and give you some uh, further explanation. So hopefully that's helpful in explaining the differences between the sort of the wing tank arrangement between the 1920-21 CEO and the jet pump logic on the NEO and the differences between the 500 and the 250 kilos that needs to be burned between the 320 and um, the uh, 321 being just 200 and 50 kilos. I'll put a link up on the video description up at the top here for you to remind you to go back to the fuel uh, topic which uh, I cover. It's quite lengthy but it explains in more detail how those uh, jet pumps work and the differences between their operation and how they work and what they're trying to achieve compared to the standard fuel pump uh, arrangements. So I'll go into that in quite a bit of detail. Anyhow, hopefully you found that helpful. Uh, keep safe, keep the plates spinning and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks very much. Bye for now.